And I'm Melissa Blanc. Dolly Parton joins us now from Nashville. Well, thank you, Melissa. It's good to be with you. Do you see the bunny in the distance? Oh, yeah. Lisa, yeah. the mother of a 13-year-old transgender girl in the Tampa area, says when she We hear Eastern Toys singing Drink Your Tea. Now he says he's 95% sure he'll vote for Romney. He likes Romney's leadership experience with the Olympics, likes his business From sense. From 1985, when Melissa Block came to work at NPR uh, as a booker for that program, as a producer and later as senior producer, Melissa has epitomized everything that is best about NPR. Melissa Block, NPR News. We came back to Milford to talk one last time, Michelle, with some of the folks that we've met, and we talked with them here at the city. The campus of Virginia Tech is eerily deserted. We're heading off by helicopter over to a lake called the Lake of Death. Um, it's the site of methane explosions, and methane is really important as permafrost is thawing. More and more methane. Our series, Climate Connections with National Geographic, today takes us to a remote treeless island in the Bering Sea. The community volunteers visit people in their homes, since for many it's impossible to make the long haul to a health center. Hello, Mama. Ah, Melissa, I can't believe you're retiring. You are the producer, the most creative producer with the most smarts and gumption I ever worked with. And may I say, you have the talent to turn me into a pressure cooker exploding. We were the only Western journalists who happened to be in Chengdu and in Sichuan when the earthquake happened. So we were some of the first people Late last night, when a potent aftershock jolted me out of bed, I thought about two 15-year-old boys I met on Thursday. Both were in Juyuan Middle School when the earthquake hit. That building was completely destroyed, with hundreds of children killed. The boys I met were in the lucky minority of survivors. Huang Zhuhui has a beautiful face. It's not that you're not feeling the emotion of what's going on around you, because I don't think you would be a human being if you didn't absorb the pain that that you're witnessing, but my job is to convey that information to other people, to absorb it, but then to be able to relate it and not to get overwhelmed by the emotion itself. Dear Melissa, it's Susan. You have been such a steady, firm, gentle, intelligent voice for NPR and on NPR for all of these years. There have been so many changes, but your absence will really be a felt one. I so appreciate your dedication to the work, how hard you think about it, and how seriously you've taken it, and also your ability to have fun with it, too. I, as a listener, thank you for that. As a colleague, I send you a great virtual hug. And as a friend, we'll walk. Have a wonderful retirement or whatever it is you're going to do next. Hi, Melissa. It's Noah in the backyard in Yellow Springs. I can think of a smile every time I hear your voice. It's radio that's important. 
and you've done so well with all those jobs over the years. We continue to always be together for sure. Hey, Melissa, it's Ellen Weiss. I am so excited for you, and I'm so happy that I got to share so many wonderful memories with you from your very first day at All Things Considered on through all your career highlights. You're gonna have a wonderful time in this next stage, and I'm really happy for you. Hi, Melissa. It's Nina. We are going to miss you on the radio for sure. Your smart and graceful writing, your courage, your curiosity, your humanity, your laughter. You're one of a kind. I'm sad, but I am hopeful that I'm going to see you more in person. We listen. NPR has created a worldwide community of listeners. This is NPR. Oh, you are no, such an old oh, speckled hen. That would be awesome. Wait, so what the line is, you're listening to All Things Considered from NPR News. All right? Here we go. Just watch it on the clock. It's, it's, it's three. Too loud. It's a, it's, here we go. Three, two, one. It's All Things Considered from NPR News.